So in order to uh, view this uh, model in NDO2 we have to export it as FBX so just select the model that has all the parts attached together and export selected and then just uh, save it into a folder under FBX format So now we are going to be creating a normal map with NDO2 in Photoshop. So let's just open uh, NDO2 and let's also under file open and let's just open ambient occlusion that we created in XNormal and Battlestick QB map that we rendered out of uh, 3ds Max. Uh, and then uh, with ambient occlusion just click and drag it onto the UV map double click on background and rename it and reposition it control I on the keyboard to invert it multiply and ambient occlusion also multiply and maybe just leave it like that and then create a new layer and turn on uh, NDO2 again and just convert and it's going to create a blank normal map uh, and everything that you uh, put in to the normal map you have to uh, put beneath this, uh, this sign of normal so just maybe create a new layer just going to push this aside so I have a lot more to see so with the ambient occlusion turned on I can see where the other parts are going to intersect with this blade so I can then uh, just use tools like rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool uh, and Polygon lasso tool also works when creating indentions and stuff and this time I'm going to be using pen because I want to create some uh, distortions like this and then just hold alt and maybe create something like this and finish it up and then as we can see it's a shape so I'm going to rasterize it and control J to duplicate it control T to access trans transform tools then flip flip no flip vertically and then just pull it down and then just control E on the keyboard to merge these two layers together and then with the NDO2 as we have our shape created it states convert to normal just click on it and it's going to convert this shape to a normal shape and I want to use it as intention and I can set the size and I can set the softness if I want to but softness maybe it's best to keep it hard and also depth for example and just play around with these settings and you will get to know how they uh, react and also you can create some uh, different shapes of the edge just uh, go through and maybe you'll find something that's really uh, for your taste let's say this is something that I like and also with the curve setting you can create some additional uh, deformations of the of the edge so just play around with this uh, and you'll see 
what works for you and what not so then for example we can preview this I'm going to shut off uh, UV map and ambient occlusion and click here on toggle preview on and as we can see the cube is a default um, default object that is going to be created and you can rotate it by holding the center mouse button and scroll the wheel on the mouse to zoom in and zoom out and uh, right uh, left mouse button to move it around and the right mouse button to move around the lights and if you want to move the lights uh, in one axis just hold shift and left click uh, and move the mouse but we want to use a uh, custom model so we're going to right click on the this cube and load custom mesh and we're going to load in the FBX that we exported from Max and you have to hover over the object to um, affect it and if you want to rotate it a little bit different just hold ALT and left mouse button and you will see the rotation that you can make as you can see we created uh, this indention this with a uh, normal map which wasn't there uh, before we created this in uh, NDO2 so the rest is really um, the same process just creating a new let me shut down this and just creating a new layer and then using s different tools for drawing you can also uh, use brushes to create some form and then just convert it and in NDO2 it's going to convert like we saw before and you can also go in and uh, enter mode and it's going to allow you to change the the basic shape or you can go out and maybe apply a mask and with the brush just mask out something let me see it yeah you have to choose a black color for example you could do something like this and it won't affect the shape of the bevel and if you would do this the same in enter mode for example and let's apply mask you can see it affects the shape of the of the indention that we created earlier and if you use uh, yeah it deleted this <laughs> it deleted the mask that I created earlier but as you can see if we create a mask in such way we can delete something not really delete but hide with the mask and then we turn on we can see it uh, immediately uh, converted this to the model that we see so just play around with these settings and you will see what NDO2 does uh, I like NDO2 uh, because you can always go back and it's non uh, destructible to the uh, model itself so not like in ZBrush when you uh, actually deform the the model itself and it's sometimes really hard to go in and and make the changes go away as we can see here we just removed the masks and everything is back to normal and if we want to change something we just apply different settings and it, it immediately uh, transfers to um, model so this is really a great tool in my opinion one of the best there is for creating uh, normal maps and it's
it's really easy to use. As you create more and more uh, layers of uh, parts that you want to uh, use as normal maps, uh, it's wise to rename the folders so you don't get uh, lost in all the uh, in all the layers. So you can double click here and rename it or right click here and rename it but don't never uh, rename any of these ones or it's going to mess up uh, your file or even if you go in and try to uh, rename this one not a good idea so um, just make sure you are uh, renaming the main folder uh, and not the layers in it the best part of uh, NDO2 is that you can always go in uh, the layers and for example control T and then just holding alt and you can resize the shape and it will immediately apply changes to uh, your normal map or you can for example uh, select something by for example holding control and clicking on the layer and it will select everything that is in the layer and now you can move it around freely or you can for example uh, deselect something like uh, selecting this uh, marquee tool and holding alt to deselect something then press V on the keyboard or go here to move tool and you can move something away from the model and as you can see it immediately create a totally different kind of shape and uh, it's really easy to uh, create something like this. You can also uh, go backwards like this just hold alt and deselect this one and then just move this one back and it will snap and as you can see it snapped perfectly together. It's some, there is some distortions. Uh, we have to be, <laughs> maybe be sincere. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, you can create some really interesting, uh, really interesting uh, shapes with this, uh, with this tool. So always use the white color to create indentions. And you can also fix this by just using the brush and now we have a perfect shape as before you can also use brushes to create some indentions so that's exactly what I'm going to do now and I'm going to create a new layer select a brush uh, white color resize it a little bit and then just I'm just going to paint something not really um, precise and I can use a uh, erase button a uh, erase brush to erase something so click once and then hold shift and click the second time and it will create uh, a brush stroke between these two lines and this way you easily create a uh, straight lines as you can see here then I'm just going to resize it a little bit maybe rotate it I'm not being really precise because I can always go back and change something if I want which is uh, exactly what I like about the NDO2 and then I'm just going to convert it and maybe uh, do some changes to the softness and to the size uh, maybe something like this so let's just look how this uh, looks like and as we can see here and this was created and I just want uh, this to be uh, the tip should be only on the center part so and I should I also want it to be on the other side and a little bit uh, under the angle so I'm going to select the folder 
and enter mode and just move this and then you can always uh, hold control and click on the layer to select everything and let's just uh, turn on the UV map and rotate it but first we're going to move this uh, pivot point and then just rotate it a little bit enter and then hold control and click on the canvas to, s to make the selection of everything that is in the canvas press V on the keyboard or go here to selection tool hold alt as you can see uh, the mouse uh, curves are changed and if you hold uh, alt and move it down and maybe also uh, hold shift you can see we duplicated the selected object control T flip vertically and then just move it downwards maybe rotate it a little bit so it looks like the one that we uh, copied it from so now control D to go out of the selection mode and select the folder exit mode and then just apply a mask brush black color and we're going to mask this outer part and you can see how easily and how much control you have uh, while creating this uh, kind of uh, normal map yeah <laughs> I messed it up a little bit <laughs> but as you can see uh, it's really easy to create something like this so let me just try to fix this and yeah it looks better uh, it could be uh, created more precise and better looking but uh, the main thing is uh, I showed you a way to duplicate and make some adjustments to the to the painting that you created with brushes sometimes it would be um, more of a use to rotate the whole canvas so you can easily create uh, easily access some of the parts of your map so uh, if you press R on the keyboard or go down here to rotate view tool um, it can be done uh, to rotate and if you hold shift it will snap to uh, some of the values that you can use and if you want to uh, go back to the default you just have to have this tool also selected and press escape on the keyboard and it will go to the default view sometimes it, this doesn't work because OpenGL is not enabled and you can enable it by going to edit and down to preferences and performance and here you have to tick use graphic processor or use OpenGL it depends and you can set this to normal and the next time you uh, restart the Photoshop uh, this um, setting will set into effect after you are finished with uh, modeling your um, normal map just uh, save it out but first of all you can also select a folder and then just click on enter mode which means it's going to zip everything together and the PSD file will be a lot a lot smaller and you can undo this for all of the uh, folders and then just save it and um, to save a normal map just make sure your image mode is set to 8 bits channel and now go to file save as and save it as targa or TGA TGA normal map and 16 bits per pixel it's going to work so this was it for creating a normal map in NDO2